Hello friends, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be providing you the solution of our Arcade Basecamp 2024 second modules last lab which is going to be speech to text api quick start before starting the solution i simply want to inform you that i already uploaded the solution of the last seven labs jitne bhi seven labs hain sabke solution maine apne channel pe upload kar diye hain and link of that playlist will be in the description box description box pe jaake aap is sare solution access kar sakte hain okay now coming back to the lab and open the lab click on the start lab button once the lab get loaded click on the start lab Wait for the credentials to be loaded. The credentials are required to log in into our Google Cloud platform. Okay. Now, first of all, we will copy the password. The password is given here. So, click on the copy button. And then, right click upon open Google Cloud console and open it in incognito window only. It's open. It's mandatory to open it in incognito mode only. Okay. Now, you have a problem. So, incognito mode may open. Now, click on the next button. Here's the password that we just copied. Click on the next button. And we are good to go. We get login into our Google Cloud console. First of all, we will click on the I understand button. Uh, pop up of terms and conditions will arise upon the dashboard. We have Google Cloud console login. We will terms and conditions pop up arise. Hoga. This is accept. Karna. Click on the checkbox. Click on agree and continue. Now we are good to go. First of all, we need to activate the cloud terminal. Or uh, we don't need the cloud terminal in this. So we will use the API and the services. So click on the API and services. Hover upon API and services. And go to the credentials from the left panel. API services से हमें credentials को open करना है तो open कर लेंगे quickly open this wait for it to load and we need to create a new credentials click on the create credentials button and let me check once again what was the task one go to task number one yes we need to go to the API service credentials we need to create the credentials and select the API key okay we need to key, create the API key so click on the API key it's creating the API key so wait for a couple of seconds it will be get loaded this API key is very important for us to complete all the tasks. So we will copy the API key, click on the close button, click on the plus icon and paste the API key that we just copied. When we copy the API key, we will save it in a new tab. Mein save kar now come back to here, click on the check my progress, you will get the green tick for the first task. Now we need to go to the compute engine and uh, uh, access our VM instance SSH shell. Okay, so come back to here, click on this navigation menu, hover upon compute engine and go to the VM instances. You will see that the VM instance is given to us. A VM instance we already create already Just we need to connect it. So for that we will click on the SSH button. Click on this. A new terminal will be open, and it will ask us for the authorization. So wait for a couple of seconds. It will automatically fetch the information. Click on the authorize button. It will load the menu, and wait for it to establish the connection. It will take a couple of seconds, and you are good to go. Now what we will do? We will come back to the lab. And copy the command from starting to the equals to equals to the copy karna hai. Make sure itna hi copy kare, isse the copy na kare. Copy it. Come back to your SSH terminal. Jo maray terminal tha na SSH terminal. Isko copy karenge. Yaha paste karenge. Don't press any enter button. Abhi enter button mein press nahi karna hai. Simply use any arrow key. Use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Come back to the incognito tab. Jo maray incognito mode tha. Jisme yeh maray VM instance open hai. Yaha na hai. Go to the new incognito tab in which we save the API key. Which we starting API key generate key thi. This is the API key. We need to copy the API key. Open the SSH terminal. Paste after the equals to and hit enter button. Now come back to the lab. Scroll down. Copy the first command from the second task. It is to create the request or JSON file with the help of the touch command. And now we will uh, edit this command with the nano editor. So copy the next command. We will edit this file. So paste it and hit enter button. It will open the nano editor. So we need to edit this file. So copy the next uh, commands. These are the script of the file. Come back to here. Paste it under the here. Paste it. Now listen very carefully. We need to press Control plus X on your keyboard. Control plus X. Okay. Control plus X. Then press Y on your keyboard and hit enter button. Once again, Control plus X. Then Y and hit enter. This process will your command and load and your terminal will be visible. Now come back to the lab. Scroll down. Click on check my progress. You will get the green tick for this task number 2 also. Wait for a couple of seconds. You can see we get the green tick. Now scroll down. Copy the next command. Come back to the SSL. Paste it here. Hit enter button. This is the last command that we need to run. Come back to the lab. Scroll down, click on the check my progress, you will get the green tick for this task also and congratulations with that, your lab is completed. Just like you green tick, mil don't worry if you don't get green tick one time. Let's try it one time, you will green tick. Mil okay. okay, green tick is not coming because we had to run this command, it was missing. So, we will paste it, hit enter button. Now, we will get the green tick, click on the check my progress. Yes, congratulations, your lab is completed. Click on the end lab button, click on the end lab button once again. 
If the star rating that you want to give, click on the submit button and we are good to go. Come to the main page to verify whether we get the green tick or not. So scroll down, karenge, module ko open karenge, and you can see we get the green tick for this lab. It means we successfully completed this lab as well as this module. So if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. So you will be getting the instant notification of every lab solution and update I will be uploading on my YouTube channel. So that's it. Thank you very much. Goodbye.